so far I haven't had any dysphoria, but I could and I might, and it's a possibility. I don't know, like, I feel like it might make my dysphoria a lot better, it might make it worse, I don't know. That's the thing about products like these, like binders, packers, um, testosterone surgery, all that stuff, like, you can still experience dysphoria even when you have things like that. I don't know, I feel, I feel that, uh, I feel like I'm just, I think I should make another video about that, because I'm just kind of getting off topic, but. What's up guys, it's Kaden. I just wanted to make a quick video before I get into the main videos today. So, I've been wanting to discuss a lot about dysphoria, but I want to do it in depth and in detail, and I want to do different aspects, like all the aspects of it that come along with dysphoria. So I am going to be making a video about dysphoria today, but I'm also going to break it up into different parts. So I'm going to talk about dysphoria, you know, in general, dysphoria pre-T, auntie, dysphoria with packers, binders, uh, dysphoria in regards to your identity, and with sex. So there's going to be a couple of dysphoria-related videos to be coming. But today I'm just going to be talking about dysphoria in general. But like I said, I do want to be as detailed and get as in-depth with it as I possibly can. So, hope it helps you guys out and have a good Saturday. Peace out.